what is a 1010 portal and what does that mean in a seven year? If you're going, what the heck are you talking about? Well, that's all the more reason to stay and listen. Hi, I am Michelle with Angel Souls. If you are not familiar with my work, I am an angelic medium. That is a very different frequency than some other esoteric arts that you might be more familiar with. So just bear that in mind as we go through this. So I am going to be sitting here. We're posing that question to the angels. They're going to give us the answers about what we need to be aware of for this upcoming 1010 portal. So let's start from the beginning. What are we talking about with 1010 portal? What is a portal? So a portal is an opening in an energy field through which some people believe we can access other energies or even other dimensions. And then we have a vortex, which you may have heard of. We have uh, vortices in Sedona, Arizona. They're all over the place, so usually in sacred places. So that's a collection, a swirl of very intense energy. So portals kind of help you move through if you want to see it that way. So when we talk about 1010, this is where we get into esoteric arts. So we have numerology, which is amazing. Okay. And then we have angelic numbers. There's a lot of crossover there, but the angels bring through the archangels more specifically bring through a little more information with uh, frequency. I told people many, many times that angels and archangels, they go by God's law, which is to not interfere with human free will. So that's important to remember when people ask, why can't the angels just come in and give me the answers? Eh, eh. Did you sit in class and go, teacher, I know you got the answer key up there. Can't you just tell me what it is? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I know we all have those moments, but they're not going to come in and just give you the answers. All right. They give you guidance, love and support so that you can find the answers on your own. The other thing is, is that angels want to bypass the ego. So the ego does not interfere with messages they're trying to get through. And they also want us to experience a message with our whole being, with every part of our intelligence system, all right? So that is why angels will often use things like numbers, especially repeating numbers. So those repeating numbers have a frequency, but it also does something to the ego. So when the ego sees it, some people are stuck there in the psychological explanation of it, that the brain just kind of notices patterned numbers. Good on you. Have a good day. It goes deeper than that, okay? They use this as a tool to communicate with us. It's like Morse code, all right? So the ego almost kind of gets, uh, I don't want to use the word mesmerized because then it sounds like they're trying to like <laughs> hypnotize you or something. They don't do that, but it does kind of quiet the ego down a little bit and gets your attention. But as that ego is quieting down, as you're seeing those repeating numbers, something's activating within you intellectually you will probably not recognize this but you'll feel it you'll feel it in your heart space some people feel it in their gut you might feel a tingly feeling you might have a sudden like um i'm going to describe it as a moment where everything feels like it's sort of wiped out uh where everything just kind of zeroes out for a second like it needs your attention but again it's not from the mind saying oh i better look at this no you just do it because the frequencies are activating your dna and parts of your mind that have been dormant. That's the power of the frequency of these shapes that we call numbers. Now the angels and uh, archangels that have been put in charge of us, with us specifically, they've come in knowing what kind of density bodies they're gonna have to work with, that we have an ego that is there to protect us and therefore shut out anything that could be unknown, right? Like we don't recognize this spiritual information coming in. So we're going to shut it down. It's meant to do that, right? So they have to sort of bypass that and to work from our original intelligence, which is, if you want to see it as being in the DNA, in our cellular structure, but it's not in the density part of us. It's in the light frequency. It, you know, it's in all the expanded bodies that exist within us. All right. So that's why they use those repeating numbers. Now, if you're at a place where you see 1111, you're like, ooh, make a wish. <laughs> By all means, go ahead. If that brings you joy, go right ahead. But please do me this favor. Go ahead and make your little wish. And then think about what was I just doing? What was I, what was going through my head in the moment I saw that? Then ask yourself, how do I feel? Now, sometimes 
1111 is, for example, uh, a number that says, hey, watch out, pay attention. You know, you're getting too much in your ego. You're getting yourself stuck. Watch what you're manifesting. If you're fearful, you're going to manifest the fearful stuff. You know, all of that. So it's varied with that. Now, when we talk about 1010, the binary code of the universe, ones and zeros, 10 can also represent a conclusion. People often get a little nervous around this time because they're sort of like, what am I missing? I don't want any surprises, right? I don't want to be caught off guard, all right? So they often come flooding in for angelic guidance around that time because they feel it, because the frequency within them is going, oh, oh, something's shifting, something's moving, a waterfall ahead, like, am I going to go over the edge? So they get into a concerned place, which isn't great, okay? We don't want you being afraid, but sometimes, I don't know, fear in that instance, at least it got your attention, okay? Because maybe you've been sleeping beauty this entire time and <laughs> not realizing you have something you have to take care of. All right. So 1010 10 can be a completion. That's a simplistic way of putting it, but it's, it's a reset. It's some, it's a time every year where, and it always has to do with uh, the number frequency of the year we're in. So in this case, it's a 1010 10 energy portal within a seven year. This is kicking you up to higher ground, whether you're ready for it or not. Let's make this clear. This is not angelic interference. They do not interfere with human free will. So the, this would be the angels trying to come in and show you what needs to be let go of. But ultimately, it's something that is just going to snap apart anyway because there's nothing there to sustain it. They're trying to give you the heads up that that's about to come. All right. Again, that's why we get all this swirling energy. I rather like 1010. Um, it's usually, it can be the end of a bad situation, right? Around that time. And remember, 1010 is just sort of the pin pinnacle of that energy portal that energy opening goes a little bit before a little bit after it's fine you'll be in that energy and it does it's all sort of a succession so every month has a repeating number right so just bear that in mind each one of them has its own meaning again within that year the number of that year again in this case you need to get into higher frequency expanded consciousness and that can bring endings to things that have been dragging you down. This could be a lot of people break up and get divorced around this time because they went into relationships for the wrong reason, right? They go into a relationship, not because like there's, there's a soul calling there and you can learn from one another. A lot of people do have those lessons on their soul contracts, but a lot of people go in because they don't like being alone. They're lonely. I mean, if you're like me, eh, like, well, that's such a bad thing to say. Well, I'm a tough old bird when it comes to that. Okay. Like, I mean, I love you, but I'm not going to enable you. I'm not going to enable your weakness thought that you can't make it on your own. It, we just, it's just not done here. It's, it's not. You could always make it on your own. Always. Right. Some of you are going to hate that and it's not my problem. Okay. <laughs> like, hi, again, welcome to my channel. This is who I am. I'm not going to enable weak behavior or weak think thinking about yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that every relationship is bad, but I'm saying like in, in this time, if you're in a relationship simply because you thought you were a loser, if you weren't with someone, because we're in such a couple centric world. And if that relationship is very bad for you, this is when it falls apart, potentially. Okay, potentially falls apart. Work-wise, oh Lord. Okay, this is probably what, let me just put this out there. When it comes to personal readings, if you want a 1010 reading with me, which is angelic messaging around that, I would highly encourage you to sign up now, angelsouls444.com. Depending on how it goes this year, I always check my community section on my YouTube channel because I that's the most up-to-date information. I post... Uh, all kinds of information there, but I always keep you up to date on what's going on with personal readings. This year, I may have to shut down personal reading requests for a short period of time until I catch up and then open it up again. So if you don't want to end up falling into that time where it's like you can't get a reading right now, you can't get even get in line for one, get it now. Okay. You can still get it around that time, but <laughs> just please bear that in mind. So 
be ready for the endings. Be ready for uh, conclusions. Be ready to do the action of being rid. Okay, being rid of scenario situations. Keep in mind too, this doesn't always have to look like something in your external world that's ending. This could be the ending of um, swirling around a situation and having to take your energy. It could be the end of a way of thinking. It can be um, the end of talking badly about yourself. Excellent time to stop bad habits. Now check with astrologers too because they can let you know some other really good information. Astrology is basically the blueprint, the energetic blueprint that you are working with within your density body. So it's very valuable as well. When we talk about tarot readings, tarot readings help you kind of guide the energy um, that's most connected into your third dimensional consciousness because it's a fourth dimensional art. Does that make sense? So it's a little bit closer to this frequency, but it's going to tell you the little details, kind of get in the weeds. It can, or it can kind of give you some of that. The angelic frequency, that's about the big stuff. The big stuff. Yeah, you can ask angels about little details of your life, but I'm going to tell you they're going to go way deeper. <laughs> they're going to go way, way, way deeper. So when we're talking about a clearing away, ending your bad habits, um, it's going to come with not like, well, yeah, I should do this because it's better for my health. Why did you get started in the first place? And the answer is not here nope it comes through your entire being and there's going to be a flash of understanding that could even go soul deep where it's like i came in here to see how well like a density body handles this script this timeline this thing you know the storyline what would be the reaction to my from my energetic blueprint how would i respond to that the energy i'm taking in with me what then becomes of that i keep hitting my microphone i'm so sorry <laughs> what then becomes of that so you might have like a, a flash of understanding around that where you lose it and this is where they're saying a lot of humans then disconnect is we try to pass it through our intellect to make it into some dazzling little story does not serve us the thing with angelic messaging is that it gets put into words as best as we can and it's meant to trigger a feeling it's meant to trigger uh, a whole energy field experience i have had clients and i want to explain this with the 1010 because this is part is all ego it's dropping some of the ego stuff and this is an example of an ego thing where i'll give a reading to someone and i'm trying to explain a very expansive energy and so i to take the heat off the client because i'm not trying to do psychic readings <coughs> pardon me um i will go and i'll make up an example and i'll say it's like Someone going and doing X, Y, and Z, and then this happens. And people will come back and go, that's never happened to me. What are you talking about? This was a terrible reading. That's never happened. Oof. Okay, no, no, no. That, that was just sort of a parable to explain the underlying energy of the message. But that right there is ego interference. And that is what gets us into trouble. So part of what's ending for everybody, especially those of you who have found this video, is that you're no longer working from that space of missing the message because your brain got in the way. Okay. It's not meant for you to figure out intellectually. It's meant for you to experience. Okay. So it comes into that. Okay. I understand, but I don't know why I understand. All right. Now that is be careful with people who want, because this will be the next thing that, you know, scammers are trying to catch up on and saying, Oh, just take what I say and don't question it. <sighs> They're not going to succeed because your heart is super intelligent. Your gut is super intelligent. Of course, you have your intuition. That is highly, you know, that's big intelligence as well. So when all of it's activated and sort of working together in a balanced fashion, you're going to know, like mostly it'll probably hit your gut and go, that person's a fraud or what have you. Okay. So there is that. Get ready for this 10-10 season. It's about getting into a better way of living, existing, but that has to do with um, realizing that the physical stuff is not all there is. It's not the most important part of it. We're reconnecting with our heart, our soul, activating for some people who choose to do this, especially as we lead up to the 11-11 portal, activating all of your sensory abilities, being able to absorb light and absorb intelligence that the angels are offering to us 
through every cell of our bodies and through every particle in our energy field. All right. It's a big deal. It is sometimes people, it depends on what happens. Okay. I mean, one of the gauges that your ego needs to take a bow, <laughs> let the curtain close a little bit on its power, uh, is if something, I don't know. I don't want to sit here. This I got to be careful in saying this because I don't want to say you manifest or you brought it on yourself or you deserved if something bad happens around this time. But if, for example, you are really egotistical about your work, it's your identity, it's your sense of self-worth, it's all of that, and you get fired, and maybe it's in a very embarrassing kind of way, and now you're all resentful and angry and wanting to blame the company for firing you instead of looking at where you were not respectful to your coworkers or where you were stepping on people's backs. If you think that that's not going to come with some sort of payment later on, the universe is ever correcting. It's ever balancing. So you have to be aware that there will be consequences for that. So if this is a time of consequences for you, do not whine and cry. You had it coming. Okay. Now that's for some of you. Again, I want to go back and say, if something kind of not so pleasant happens around this time, it doesn't mean that it was your fault 100%. But for some people, like this is a time of reckoning <laughs> for them. So be aware of that. I hope, I know this is going to be so varied for every person. If you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. As I was saying, a lot of people come in because they want to get more information around this 1010 energy portal. I will keep you posted on whether I'm still accepting readings around that. Check the community tab on YouTube. Leave your questions down below because every time I put out a video like this, I just see it as a starting point for a discussion. If there is a point that I touched on and I didn't go deep enough for you and you want more information on it, as long as it makes sense, um, I get some of these wild comments and I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> or it's like it only pertains to that one person. They're being selfish. Those we're not doing a whole video answering something just about your circumstances, right? So if it's going to benefit everybody, I will make a whole other video and we'll leave it there for now. I am sending you all so much love and take care.